Right. Coach Bergeron. Not a very strong game. Yeah, I felt so as well. Um, you know, you give up that goal late in the first period, and you, you're just not quite sure how they're going to react and how we're going to react. And I thought we settled in fine. And um, I, I felt like we were here to play from the beginning. I, I really, it was almost like we were gripping a little tight early. I don't, I don't, you know, that first period was crazy. I think it was only nine minutes of five on five play, so it really wasn't a chance for us to get to our game. But uh, you know, I thought as the game went on, we hung in there and obviously capitalized on some on some chances we had. So. All in all, a good, good, strong effort. Even though things were strange in the first period, it, you had the good penalty killing. Yeah, and, and it seemed like you were winning a lot of pucks. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, you know, we knew we knew the schedule was in our favor in terms of what Notre Dame had been through, and you know, I listened to myself say four games in seven nights, and I think that's what we always do, <laughs> like weekend, weekend, and seven nights. But for them to play Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, that's not that's not normal. Um, so a focus of ours was to try to beat them every puck and. And, and make them realize that they're in a game and we're, we're here to battle and so on. And again, I thought our guys did a pretty good job of that. Can you just talk about the way the PK played in the first, just keeping them off the board? Yeah, and, and, and we talked about this. That's the PKs, or their power plays, what killed us the last time we played with the two power play goals they had. I thought our guys did a good job, in particular, that you know the forwards didn't skate themselves out of position. I thought our defense uh, uh, did a nice job of containing down below the tops of the circles and making it hard on them. And, uh, but, but there seemed to be some order to it. There seemed to be some purpose to what we were doing. And, you know, we got, we got what we were looking for, with the exception at the end there, which uh, is one, I, you know, I think we'd like back. But uh, it is what it is. I thought that five-minute kill was huge in terms of the momentum of the game. So then with that five-minute, you lose Casera for just about 50 minutes. With, yeah. With going down to 5D for almost the entire yeah. game, especially against a team that comes at you like Notre Dame. Yeah. How did you guys adjust? Great, that? great effort. We didn't we didn't adjust at all other than the fact that we had guys playing more than they would have normally played. Um, you know, I, they all come to mind. I don't want to pick one guy out of the five. I think all five of them um, sucked it up and did a good job of, hey, it is what it is. We The, the ebbs and flows of games have cost us the past couple of years and, and even at times this year. And I think the last little bit, the ebbs and flows of the game, we've kind of stayed more focused and a little more level, even though things go up and down. You lose a guy, you have, you know, you have five-minute penalty, whatever it may be. Um, so I think our D did a really good job of, of keeping it smart uh, when we went down to five in particular. And then for the second period, was there was the only difference really just getting a chance to play five on five? Because it seemed like it was uh, I guess that's what the stats would say. Uh, you know, I, I don't think our guys loved the first period. I don't think they thought we were great. I don't. We didn't think we were great. Um, but we showed some fire in the second. There's no doubt about it. Uh, out shooting the way we did, and out scoring the way we did, and and we had a couple of really good chances other than the ones we scored on. So um, there 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 was no sense of anything after the first period other than it's behind us. Uh, we got to focus on the next twenty, and I think that's what our guys did, and, and we were able to kind of grab the momentum at that point. When you talk about the first goal, I mean, it did look like it loosened some of the weight off some of those guys. I mean, it ended up giving you. A a little more jump. Our first goal jump? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, when we get a, a contribution from a defenseman like that in, in a game where we've gone down to five and see Paul Toma, you know, a senior who's been through lots here and get rewarded, um, it's, it, it's again, it's it's momentum. You know, we were, we, we, we felt we were all over them at times in that period. I think it was seven minutes to go in the period. Yeah. So for the first 12, we thought we were all around it. So I think we got what we deserved. And, and uh, even at that, I don't think I think our guys use that momentum in a positive way. It didn't it didn't make us complacent. It made us more hungry. And as a goal always does, if it, you know when it's for you anyway, it uh, it worked in our favor. And then on DeSalvo's goal, will you talk about Murphy's yeah. play on that? I mean, you know was... Ben Murphy's a guy that um, I've been really hard on on the ice because he you know the the, the the things in his game that he's trying to get better at. He shoots the puck probably better than anyone we have on our team. And to see him make a play like that out of effort, um, really, really happy for Ben. Um, he obviously is kept to the process and kept focused, and, and he gets rewarded. He's playing with two pretty good players, and but, but that's a tribute to him. And, and uh, he, his play as of late has been better, and it's shown in, in a couple of points here or there. He is a guy that will contribute offensively, and if plays like that um, it, it shows promise for all of us, for sure. What's, what's the team been doing here the last uh, five, six games? It you know, wasn't yeah. early in the year. Uh, well, uh, 
we've been demanding results. And that, that's hard to put your thumb on because what does that mean? Does that mean the first half of the year you didn't care if you won or lost? Well, absolutely not. But I just think um, that we've talked about this over the last eight weeks. We've had a couple of different sections of reflection, quite honestly. You know, seven days here, 14 days there where you really sit back and reflect. And, and uh, you know, I'll take the blame for maybe it being a little negative in the first half. It, it's, it's a lot more positive around here. Now, it, obviously, it has something to do with the results, but um, I just think our guys are deciding that this isn't good enough. We work too hard to not get the results. We, we need to expect more in practice. We need to demand results in games. and um, That's the brand we're trying to create. This isn't, we haven't reinvented anything. We haven't changed anything. We just continue to push, continue to be relentless on a daily basis, and, and the kids have have just said, this is what we're going to do, and they're getting rewarded for it, which is, makes me proud that they, they stuck to the plan and not kind of swayed because the results weren't very good the first half. And, and the perceptions and people talking, well, they're not a good... We know internally we're a better team than our record indicates. We're, much, uh, we're a better program, but uh, until the results start to say so, people will question that, and, and our guys deserve the way they feel right now. And the way they've played the last seven, eight games shows them that if we do things a certain way and just expect good things, um, results can come with that. And, and then when you, uh, the Notre Dame scores to make it three two, yeah. another chance to kind of here we go, or and then Williams have come well, right we, back. And, that that here we go again, Kevin, and, and it may show its head, right? But it didn't tonight, right? Right now, I, I know what you're saying. I, I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm answering the question. Yeah. I, yeah. It, it, it may again before the year's over show its head, but our team doesn't think that way. They don't. I think that's beyond behind us. I think at three to two, you know, we didn't. You know, there wasn't panic. There wasn't. There was guys on the bench saying we're fine here, and we were. Three minutes to go, three to two at home. What more do you want against a, a team like that? Uh, and Bryce Williamson, he is another guy that came here with a lot of expectations, and it, it seems to kind of sort of be coming together, not for out of a fluke. I got after Bryce pretty well, pretty hard uh, at Canisius on the second day, and Bryce has responded, and uh, and good for him for that. And not only that, but the response is so, I mean, it seems like it's instantaneous. I mean, you've given up that goal that you don't even really have a chance to say, yeah. here we go again, because bang, right. you get a goal. Right. Uh, and... Again, yeah, I think that, that bodes back to the fact that we're not going to, this isn't here we go again. We're not going to let that happen. We've got three minutes with a one goal lead at home, and we're going to finish this thing. And that's what our guys did. The goal before that, though, that made it 3-1, it looked like Notre Dame had kind of had the better play and mm -hmm. certainly had the better opportunities, but they didn't score, and yeah. you guys did. We yeah. just talk, I mean, well, that, uh, that's going to be a plus. Without having you know the stats in front of me and really yeah. seeing what happened for the first you know, seven, eight minutes of that, you know, 12 minutes of that third period. Uh, I, I agree with you. I don't know if it, if it, you know, there was a couple plays, one hit the crossbar there, and I don't know if it was a, a, a barrage of shots they had. Right. They probably had more of the zone time, yes. uh, but I thought our guys were doing a decent job, and, um, you know, maybe it was, it was, just must have been our night. They've got all the zone time, and we come down and score, and uh, we, there's been plenty of, uh, uh, situations where it's been the tables have been turned and we've got zone time and we're trying to get that time goal and they come down and make it a two goal a two goal deficit so um, I think we deserved it can you uh, talk about this weekend coming up against Western Michigan yeah. and trying to keep the momentum rolling against yeah guys? against uh, another yeah. <laughs> ranked opponent which is life in our league um, they're a great team and Western Michigan has been one that it's kind of been a Jekyll and Hyde series since I've been here. We've really played well here against them and haven't played great there. And that's a tribute to them as much as anything. Um, we have to find a way to put this behind us, rest tomorrow, go back to work on Thursday with a purpose. That's that's what our program is based on. It's a day-to-day -day thing. And we'll focus on Western come Friday night. But they pose a bunch of challenges. Their decor is as strong as anybody in our league, both offensively and defensively. Um, they got a bunch of forwards. They got a goaltender that's uh, pretty strong. So it's just <laughs> kind of another another day in the life in the CCHA, and, and uh, we'll we'll find a way. I mean, that's what we'll do. There's nothing else we can do. Um, we'll, we'll we'll enjoy and, and feel good tonight. Uh, again, rest tomorrow, and then we go back to work Thursday, and and and, and uh, hopefully we can ride this momentum a little bit. Would you also talk? We talked a little bit on Monday about not getting the results you wanted at home. And I mean, today you had a nice crowd, and yeah. 
I, I, I really I, I appreciate you bringing that up, John, because uh, uh, I, I want to thank everybody for coming. I mean, they deserve to feel, not only do our players deserve to feel the way they feel, but our fans, both on campus and off, deserve to feel the way they feel you're driving home tonight. Um, it, it, it's, it hasn't been enough. Um, I think we've played kind of, sort of like this and haven't got a result, but tonight we got the result. And, and um, I really thank the people that have stuck with us through this, even though our record says, well, these, they're not very good at home or whatever. There was a good crowd tonight. There was a buzz in the building. And we've all seen, again, even three quarters full or half full, this is a loud place. Um, and, and I'm happy for all those people that, uh, that what, came tonight and cheered us on. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.